Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 18th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as we did have three M-class solar flares over the past two days, and some very large sunspot regions turning in. And as well, a plasma filament eruption creating an Earth-directed CME. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this is where you'll see those bright regions firing and turning in. Some very large and complex sunspot regions. And then outgoing here, you'll see there is that plasma filament eruption, which was Earth-directed directed but in a southward fashion so set to get a geomagnetic event 20th into the 21st having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events m flares coming from those big sunspot regions turning in and as well plasma filament eruption we'll get a closer look at that and there is a pretty sizable coronal hole turning in for an earth-facing event and that is set to increase our solar winds having a closer look here at 304 angstrom showing that plasma filament eruption as you can see it kind of shoots southward but it is set to give us a glancing blow in 20th of march and then m-class solar flares firing off from the southern region sunspot that is turning in 193 angstroms here, just an amazing way to see our sun, a safe way for our, our eyes. Speaking of which, on April 8th, we will be witnessing a total solar eclipse. So stay tuned for that. And here is a look at our sunspot regions turning in some very large sunspots and seven of them right now on the Earth facing disk. Current space weather and conditions, we are under R2, moderate radial blackout. Impacts are expected from the M-class solar flare, strong M-class solar flare. Solar winds are coming in at 355 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray fluxes, you can see the graph here, strong M-class and two moderate M-class solar flares firing off from the sun the past two days. Proton flux was up quite a bit, still coming down. Geomagnetic activity hopped up a little bit there to KP 2.5. Let's have a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing the Space Weather Spiral. This is that coronal mass ejection coming from the plasma filament that erupted off the sun. A little green circle on the right is Earth in these graphs. And this, as I said, geomagnetic event is expected March 20th into the 21st, day after spring. And then across the North American continent, we're going to be seeing winter move in just after spring as well. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing most recent CME taking off from our sun at Earth-directed fashion. The little yellow circle there is Earth on that graph. Let's have a look at Lasco 3, showing the cosmic events leaving our sun. Some amazing imagery. I'm going to take a quick moment here to thank you all for watching and subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. I apologize. Haven't been able to upload every day. Doing my best over here. And much love to you all. I appreciate the support, love, and donations in the comments section. Thank you so much. That's the last 48 hours on our sun. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we're about 230 earthquakes according to USGS. Largest being a 5.3 here reported Volcano Islands region, Japan, north of Marianas Trench. Here's our deepest earthquake today, 4.5, 238 kilometer depth. Papua New Guinea ring in a 5.1 and as well notable activity here through the Banda Sea, Indonesia and northward into the Philippines plate. Heads up through that region. Japan, 4.0. And as well, a 4.4 there. South Japan, 
4.1 there south of Kamchatka. A couple earthquakes on the Tibetan Plateau. 4.9 earthquake reported Iran, and that was yesterday. More Iran. And today, African Plate reporting Tanzania. 4.4 magnitude earthquake and a 4.0 magnitude reported here in Greece. 4.7 today in Iceland, and that is in the center of the island. And we did have quite an eruption, but that has ceased. Overlooking South America, Chile seeing 4.4, 4.1, and 4.3 towards Peru. 4.5 there, Guatemala. And then North American plate, pretty quiet. 230 earthquakes, 24-hour period. According to USGS, they're saying 237 now. Most of the activity has been through Alaska, but notable activity across the New Madrid, even into South Carolina, Pacific Northwest, all minor activity. Nothing major to report, but the numbers all around San Francisco Bay, minor EQs, has me a little bit worried. So heads up across the North American plate, especially up into the Pacific Northwest. Having a look at Earthquakes Canada, as there's a small swarm occurring in the St. Lawrence River. Towards uh, north of Quebec. Also some pretty rare earthquakes to report here in the center of Lake Huron. Right along the border region. And then all this activity off the coast of BC, Juan de Fuca Plate. All of the orange earthquakes are the most recent, yellow all over the last 30 days. So definitely piling up off the coast of BC and up into Alaska and the Yukon. And notable there up into Labrador and north of the Baffin Bay. Lots of activity up there. Now let's have a browse at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Largest being the 6.0 magnitude earthquake in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Increasing activity all through Central America. Quieting down through North America, which has me a little bit worried. Even quieting through Hawaiian Island. Look, Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. Heads up, if you live in an earthquake-prone zone, be ready. Stay aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by Windy.com. You can download this app and get these forecast models yourself. Or check out here and stay tuned with daily events worldwide. These are showing the SO2 particulates. Eruptions through Central America and as well Kamchatka, Eastern Russia are inundating the Northern Hemisphere right now. And of course, the Iceland volcano. Heavy particulates through the North Atlantic right now. And that is swinging around the planet. Very thick plume heading into Norway. And as you can see, polar vortex is just north there swirling that SO2 around the Northern Hemisphere, around the pole. Looking around here, Southeast Asia, East Africa, and then Indonesia, Australia, still very peculiar plume coming out of the Southern Hemisphere. And overlooking West Africa and South America. All of this SO2, sulfur dioxide emissions, brought to you by our 44 volcanoes erupting worldwide. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.